it may be a small project, but I think it has a, it will have a significant impact on how you conduct your your daily um, traffic through the village. The objective of the project really is to, is to, is to enhance safety and, and the security of passage by by um, you know enhancing two-way traffic across that bridge and um, you know safe pedestrian traffic from one side of the river to the next. Uh, before we continue, I want to just acknowledge the presence of Honorable um, Blanchard, my minister, and Honorable uh, Catherine Daniel, Minister for Social Services. Um, we have the Chairman of the of the Council, Mr. Mr. Bertrand, is this? Mr. Bertrand, um, members of the media. We have the contractor here with us. I'd like to say welcome to the minister. First time to our village. It's a very quiet place. It's very beautiful. You will enjoy it if you walk around and you might want to stay here. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, well, we work together a lot, so but nice to meet you in my community. And to the Honorable Parab, she's always here. She's always welcome. And we always see her face. To the people of the community, it's nice being here and nice seeing your faces. Every day we see each other, so welcome again to the ceremony and may the project go, go smoothly and timely. <laughs> Once again, welcome. I'm really happy this afternoon to be here. As Mr. Johnson said, it's a small ceremony, but it's very significant. Um, when I started as the PAL rep, you know, we had little manifestos and things we're supposed to do for constituency. The extension of the bridge was not on it because you went around and you spoke to people and they had other needs. But coming around the constituency and this community of Tubula, it was very noticeable that the narrowness of the bridge posed a problem. In case of an emergency, a fire, ambulance has to come in, or you have to get people out. To negotiate that bridge, it was very narrow. And so we saw it a priority, because we, we live close to the seaside, and then sea surge and everything, and people may have to take shelter rapidly, quick time. So this became a priority on the list of priorities, specifically after Tropical Storm Erica. And so today, I'm really happy. Jubilee is a community where since my tenure, since I became the parrot, I felt welcome. The people know what they want. They work together. They're progressive. And they are community-oriented. If you want, that's why we do not have much of Yes We Care, because that's a love that the Jubilee people have. They take care of each other. If one person is sick in the hospital, you'll find truckloads or busloads going up to visit the people. These are the kind of people. So they will take ownership for that project. They will be there monitoring, and they'll be able to tell you if people are skylarking on the job or if the job is not being done properly. And I really thank the people of Dublin very, very much for their patience, for their understanding as together we ought to make Dubla one of the um, good-looking, quote-unquote, communities in our um, whole of Dominica. So I'm welcoming you all as Parrep, and I'm thanking the Dubla people. So the ceremony is just small to sign the contract so that we can begin work immediately. And I want us to continue to pray for the, we're still in the hurricane season, so the start of the job is very, we do not want delays, and we can only not have delays if the weather is good. So let's continue to pray for, the, for blessings for the whole of Dominica as we see what other people have gone through in the other Caribbean islands. And I think this, this bridge will serve as a protection as it joins with the new wall that's been because I'm sure now, if you notice, I do not know you, maybe that's the furthest you've reached in the village, you've had a minister. But if you go down, you'll see this big wall being there. And I think people feel safer now for that wall that's been there. Although there's a little short, and that's Ministry of Public Works. Now, one of the constraints that we have to make the, the you know, to fall in line with the bridge, one of the constraints that we have is that the wall reaches a certain part. But if the river goes down, 
it can go into that way and destroy the homes. So we might have to come to you to see if we can get a little money for the extension of that wall to make it. And so um, it's always happening for any parrot when you see things happening in your community. And I just want to say thank you for the support. The chairman and I work very well. I can always depend on him. When I call him, he's always there, give advice, gives me estimating quick succession. So and Malcolm, thank you so very much. And thank you once again. It is a pleasure to be here, to be part of this small, but clearly extremely significant ceremony during which a contract will be signed to improve the existing physical infrastructure in your community of Dublin. In a few minutes, on behalf of the government of Dormico, Mr. Kendall Johnson, the Chief Technical Officer in the Ministry of Public Works and Ports, will sign with a representative, in this case the Chairman of the Village Council, a contract for the extension of the Dubla Bridge. The contract sum is $200 and $1,595. Today's ceremony is further proof of your government's commitment to construction of a robust network of roads and bridges, understanding their important role in the island's economic development. Following today's ceremony, work will commence on the extension of your bridge. At the request of your parliamentary representative to investigate the feasibility of extending the current Dubla Bridge, two engineers from the Ministry of Public Works and Ports, accompanied by your parliamentary representative, Honorable Danielle, conducted a side visit on the 22nd of May of this year. Based on that assessment, and as a result of the continuing lobbying of your parliament, designs and estimates were prepared so that this extension could be a reality. This quick action by your government highlights our commitments to the well-being and safety of all of you here today and the rest of your community. I say to you that you should never doubt our commitment to work in the interest of all, as evidenced by the number of projects ongoing in your community today and across the island. This new project, the extension of the Dubla Bridge will serve to not only modernize your community by providing you for two-lane bridge instead of the current one-lane bridge, but will also increase the aesthetic appeal of Dubla. It will give you a nice modern look to your community as well. On completion, the new bridge will facilitate the better flow of traffic as a result of the additional lane and will also boast of a more robust bridge, as I am advised that there will also be improvements or reinforcements to the existing bridge structure. Ladies and gentlemen, I say to you that your government is serious about building a resilient network of roads and bridges across the island. And I say so against the backdrop that this bridge, although in your lovely community, will will benefit all road users who travels the EO Libla Highway to communities further north. Your village is indeed a gateway to the north of the island. And as a result of this, as you have seen, and again testament of your, the importance of your community and residents of your community to us as a government, you have noticed that we are undertaking a number of projects along the EO Libla Highway. So while those projects are not specifically in your community, these projects are also going to be a benefit to you. A few weeks ago, we signed or we had a groundbreaking ceremony for a project we call the EO Libla Rehabilitation Post-Tropical Storm America. That project is valued at 51.3 million EC dollars and funded by a grant from the government of the People's Republic of China. I want to use the opportunity to once again express the sincere appreciation on behalf of the government and people of Dominica to the government of the People's Republic of China for their continued generosity to us. That project, I'm sure we all know what that project is going to include. Hopefully some of you were with us at the wrong breaking ceremony. That project is going to include three new bridges, 
to get to your village, we need a new bridge at Mokoshwi, and this is the first bridge that's going to be constructed. So you will be impacted by that bridge. So we'll have new bridges at Mokoshwi, one at Batali, and another at Point Round. And I'm sure some of you have already noticed that works are ongoing and things have started moving at, on the Mokoshwi site as well. Other components of that project is going to include 13 culverts and other drainage infrastructure, as well as the erection of traffic signs, road markings, and reflective studs. And that isn't all that's going to happen in the proximity of your village either. We all know of the road edge failure in the Grand Savan area, and the government for its own funds have contracted um, a company to address that road edge failure, and that is in excess of almost $2 million. We're also working on the restoration of the road edge failure immediately northwest of the Layou Bridge, as well as a consultancy to design a number of the culverts along the EO Libla Highway. All of us have experienced Tropical Storm Erica, and we still live today with the memories and the lessons that we learned from Tropical Storm America. And the one I think that's most vivid in most of our, of, our, of our memories is the one that says to us that our drainage systems that worked well in the past were no longer sufficient during Tropical Storm America. And your government, concerned about your safety and the safety of everybody on Dominica, we are investing in improving that infrastructure to ensure the safety of everyone. In recent times, you'd also have noticed that we've done significant dredging of, of, of rivers as we were threatened um, by a number of, of, of hurricanes in recent past. Going back to your own project, I want to place on record my appreciation to the Dubla Village Council for partnering with us on this very important project. I give you the assurance that an engineer has been assigned to monitor progress once that project commences to ensure a high quality of standard is what you will receive and also to ensure that this bridge is constructed consistent with the government's build back better principle. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out today to witness the sign of a contract that I'm sure is a project that you've long awaited. Thank you again for your support and your patience as this government seeks to continue the development of the infrastructure in Dominica. I thank you. To everyone. Um, first of all, I want to welcome you know, our meet this afternoon and I want to thank us so much for coming to our beautiful village. We see Ms. Blanchard, the Minister for Public Works. Also, we want to really welcome and thank him. Maybe the first time I saw him in Dublin, the Mr. Johnson. Also, we want to thank and welcome Mr. Bertrand for coming to this site signing project which was so important to us for the past time. And we also want to thank our parents for being there supporting us at all the time. And I want to go a bit further by saying we want to thank our Prime Minister who has the vision for the development of our communities. Amen. And we want to say as well, we must say as a community that we have never seen projects like this. For really putting us in that vision and making our village such a beautiful thing to see, to come to our village and see that development. Every day is noise in our head because of development coming to our community. So I want to thank the government of Dominica and all the ministers for being there, being for our parent. Every time she goes for help. She comes successful and he wants really, really, really. So, thank you.